Hello everybody, this is Beastcat100 and welcome to the next game in the Phoenix Wright series. This, uh, the more official, uh, name for this game is, and I'm sorry if I butcher this, but I'm sure Storm will correct me on this sooner or later. Um, get Kuten Kenji 2, or, in more relatable terms, Miles Edgeworth 8... <laughs> no. Sorry. Miles Edgeworth Ace Attorney Investigations 2. Uh, now, just a little bit of a, a preface to everything. This game actually never came out of Japan. However, somebody did take a ROM of this and fully translated it into English. You do say you do see that the um, uh, the the title says Prosecutor's Path Beta, which means um, they probably intended on like translating it more uh, efficiently at some point in time but watching a playthrough of this it seems like they have gotten the general gist of everything if not everything translated so if there are some mistakes and whatever else there will be but just go along with it enjoy the game also hi <laughs> it's been a while I haven't recorded in nearly a month since I went over to Penn State to visit Kristoff. Um, and the reason for that is I have been working. I, I did start a job. I'm on my third week now. And because of that, it's been long days. Even though my shift goes from 9 to 3, I, I come home and I'm, just near, I'm very exhausted. Today, to date it, is actually Memorial Day. Um, so we were extremely busy today, especially, but I figured if I don't sum up some energy and record and edit and stuff like that, then nothing's going to get out. And n given nothing has been coming out anyway, because I keep forgetting to upload Skyward Sword, but I'm trying to get uh, balanced again. So just work with me a little bit here. <sighs> okay, so... As I said, we have, if you see in, in the silhouettes on the bottom screen, there are some new characters that we are going to be introduced to. So, let's stop stalling. I'll make this episode a little bit longer because I did talk for a couple minutes. And let's start a new game with Case 1, Turnabout, Target. Through this dark, muggly brain daughter, long played my nation was exposed and crushed. Now, this was possible thanks to the country prosecutor's office. From the bottom of my heart, I can bear it until the mind, but most bad to tell. However, I'm going to stun them over. But the player, here and now. The hammer of justice will be brought down upon all of them.
Oh, I've been waiting so long to play this game. Oh, I regret not starting it sooner, but it was a nice break. Yes, so essentially this game picks off picks up from where the first game was left off. March twenty fifth, two forty six PM, Gore Lake Park. Audience area. Word of this must have reached every corner of the of the world by now. You have to forgive me. I'm I'm <coughs> I have to get my accents back. I haven't been using them as much. An assassination attempt on the presidents of the Republic of Zeng Fa. My name is Miles Edgeworth. I am a prosecutor. I was asked to investigate this grave I incident, but upon my arrival, Mr. Edgeworth. Yay, gumshoes theme. We've been waiting for you, sir. This man is Dick Gumshoe. He's a detective with the local precinct who assists me on all cases under my jurisdiction. Jurisdiction. What is the president's current condition? Sure, sir. The paramedics just entered his plane <clears throat> a few moments ago. I see. I hope it's not. Uh, I hope it's nothing too serious. Very well, detective. Please show me around the crime scene. Where's your net, sir? What's this? Oh boy. Mm. Country accent. <laughs> Mister, you're the prosecutor in charge around these parts, correct? Can I ask you a little something real quick? I know, it's a really horrible southern, th southern draw, but as I said, I'm out of practice. I'm afraid I must re refrain from commenting right now. Let's go, detective. Uh. Uh. Hey, wait, Mr. Prosecutor. No, I, I got nothing. Uh, hold on, Mr. Edgeworth. Wait for me, sir. Than detectives. You had to fill me in on the on the details. I'm waiting. Oh, okay. Basically, the whole thing happened right here in Goodley Park. This is a big welcoming event for the prosecute. <laughs> The president of the Republic of Zhang Fa. I know it's like Zhang or Zhang Zhang Fa, but the president of of Zhang Fa, Di Huan, Di Di Hun, Di Hun Huang. 
I'm gonna need a little a little help on that too. As I recall, newspapers and news programs were making quite a deal over his visits. Rained a bit, but it stopped just before his plane landed. Alright. So for anybody who hasn't watched the first Miles Edgeworth playthrough, you might want to go back and watch that. Just just so you're caught up because they will be making references to before, at least in this case. Um, but I'll fill you on I'll fill you in on how things work. It's basically the same thing as if you're playing um, Phoenix Wright. And if you haven't played that, go back and watch one of the, the Phoenix Wright things. Um, basically how this works is that in our organizer, if you press R, we have our, our evidence. We have our pro for now, we have our prosecutor's badge. Proof of, proof of my possession, however, I prefer to keep it in my pocket. <gasps> and then we have the newspaper article. These are our two pieces of evidence badge doesn't count. And we can use this to rebuttal statements later on and stuff like that. So we'll check for details, see what, what we have here. And it's kind of just a picture and his plane lands on Gord like t t today. Doesn't say anything else. But if it's in our organizer, most likely it's going to be used somewhere in the game. Just remember that. In, in fact, it will. We also have profiles. Now, I don't quite remember if you can actually present profiles in this game or not, but uh, profiles will give us a little bit more information on each character. So, we first of all, we have Dick Gumshoe. Age 32, gender male, homicide detective in the local precinct, in charge of the initial investigation. And then we have uh, D... I'm going to say D. Jun Huang for now. Then we have Di Jun Huang, who's 58, male, and the president of the Republic of Zhengfa, targeted during his speech. Now, it's just a little bit of inside information on everything, but it would do you good to get into the habit of reading profiles. There could be some information there that might help you later on. He came out, and all of a sudden, in the middle of his speech... Actually, it seemed like it was he was ending it, but whatever. BANG! A gunshot! At least... I think it was. Do you think it was? <laughs> you think? Truth is, I just got here as well. So, I don't know all the details, to <clears throat> So you also so you were also called here on short notice. Today was supposed to mean my day off. <laughs> and I was supposed to be at the high prosecutor's office. Preparing a case for trial. The chief prosecutor asked for you personally, sir. The chief prosecutor? The prosecutor was taking part in the, in the welcoming event. <laughs> Apparently, the chief called out right after the incident occurred. Call Prosecutor Edgeworth! He's the only one who can solve this case! Well, almost. He said, I see. So that's what happens. If this is following the timeline of events, I don't know who the chief chief pr prosecutor is actually, because we actually defended the chief pro the previous chief prosecutor in the fifth case of the first game. She got relieved of of duty, and then I I don't know who took over. So. the incident, we sealed off the park right away. Which means that the assassin is still is still in the park.
an assassin in this crowd. This could get dangerous, sir. Speaking of dangerous, geez. if there's another incident, these civilians could get in harm's way. This is a risk it's uh, bleh, this is a risk it's time. Let's begin the investigation first. We investigate the crime scene and gather some information. Precisely. There's no mistaking. The president was targeted with with a gun. He's looking right at the camera. He's freaking breaking the fourth wall. That's interesting. All right. So another so another thing that we have is logic. Logic will allow us to uncover new clues if we put the right or the two the correct two pieces of logic together. So say it's like oh uh, I don't know. The president was shot with a gun and. The shot ended, entered his left arm. It put those two together, you get a new piece of information. The president was shot from the left side of the crowd. You know, stuff like that. Hmm. There's something I have to keep in mind. Detective Gumshoe. Where was security at the time of the of the gunfire? Police were only in charge of the gun in the park's perimeter. Which means somebody smuggled the gun in. The president was being protected by his own personal bodyguards. It's those guys over there. Why don't you try talking to them, sir? Talk to someone, press the A button while. Ah, okay, so they're just giving tutorial stuff. So, unlike a Phoenix Wright game, this is somewhat more of an RPG esque type of game. You get to move around, eventually, later, you'll actually get to talk to your partner, which at this point in time would be Gumshoe. You'll, you'll get different partners later on, depending on what case you're in or what part of the game you're in. On the bottom screen, you can see a map of the surrounding area, so you have the plane, the stage, and the audience area marked out, and you have the location that you're in right now. Just a, uh, a lot of handy information that you have. As I said, we have logic, we have the organizer, me, for, well, if you're, I guess you wouldn't be unless you got the Japanese version, since, since most likely you would be emulating this as I would, I set the movement to the arrow keys, press A, yada yada, it's basically how you um, how you do it, or you can use your mouse to actually click on the bottom screen, because technically it is supposed to be emulating a touch screen. What do you want? You're the president's bodyguards, correct? What was the president's security t security detail like during the speech? The president had his two best men at by his side. The rest were stationed near the stage. We are professionals. We constantly kept our eyes on the on the crowd. Scanning for any signs of suspicious activity. I see. In other words, security was flawless during the president's speech. They were scanning the crowd. Remember that. They were scanning the crowd. Let's keep going. We should talk to any other people and examine anything suspicious in order to collect the remaining pieces of information. 
from the scene of the crime. Hmm? I see. So that's how you round up your information. So, what do you do with all that info after it's it's squared away? Someone in the crowd is making quite a, rack, a ruckus. But don't you, I don't have time for that now. Hey! Mr. Prosecutor! Tell me how, please! Oh, I'm just gonna run his mouth. After gathering some pieces of information, you try fi to find the connections between them. Detective! Hey now, <coughs> don't be such a stick in the mud. What do you? How do you? Uh, how do you find connections or something like that? You connect two pieces of information that share a link. That's Mr. Edgeworth's specialty. <laughs> it's called logic, pal. Press the L button to use logic. And the X button to connect my thoughts. Right. You can press the L button or press logic. I I generally prefer to use the touch screen. So first you collect you pick one thought. So shooting of the president. And then another piece of information, security during the speech. Even under such tight security, the president was fired at dur during the speech. But security was flawless. Any suspicious people would have been noticed. And with that, we get... Someone was able to fire a gun on the flawless security. And they were able to avoid being spotted by the by the professional body, bodyguards. Oh. This is no easy task. There had to be a certain amount of pre preparation beforehand. It's very likely that the president's assassination was a premeditated crime. Alright, it was premeditated. Which means they would have to know the layout, of the layout of the security, where security would be watching at all points, when the security would take their eyes off them, etc, etc. I expected nothing less from Mr. Edgeworth. What brilliant logic, sir! Well, it is the tutorial section after all. Yes, well. When you follow the facts and find a connection, you will begin to see tr the truth. However, and this is where it comes in, you can't see it now because I'm in the way, but actually, you might be able to, if I can remember what the combination of buttons are, excuse me. Okay. There you go. Okay. So, you see... I just switch the top and bottom screens for a moment. You see that green bar? That's basically your penalty bar. If you keep getting things wrong, that will go down, or the truth bar. However, if the information doesn't line up properly, I may stray farther from the truth. So straying farther from the truth is getting things wrong. The f and the more that bar goes down, the more likely, or and the bar will go down a certain amount depending on how serious the mess up would be um, so say it's like very late in the case the bar the penalty might be a lot more and if the complete bar empties out then it's game over and you get sent back to I think it's your previous save point also uh, you want to speaking of saving if you do want to save you have to press your start button and you can basically save anywhere. 
and it'll always reload from the moment that you saved. But because this is an emulation, you also have save states. How about if the lo Oh. Okay. So apparently it is l it is still a little bit glitchy as you can tell. But if I think carefully before piecing pie piecing these together, the logic should flow. Begin investigation. Okay. Let's start by examining everything we can to examine. I approach anything that looks suspicious and press A. Yes. Basically the same thing as talking to people except that it's with objects. And if I want to consult with Gumshoe, I press the Y button or press the Gumshoe button on the bottom screen. The partner button. I'm just going to check. Uh, we're, we're getting there. Um, we'll, we'll investigate for a few minutes, but I can't guarantee that It'll be a long investigation at first. What is he taking pictures of? The hammer of justice shall be brought down upon all evil. It looks like he's reading the speech notes on, on the floor, sir. Head to public speaking three. Speak slowly and yell loudly with confidence. It says. I see. So that's how it's done. I actually haven't. I'm actually going to be taking a public speaking class in the spring. I guess I'll take another photo. I have an ob objection to his behavior at work. <laughs> Have you found any traces of the assassin? Nope! None at all, sir! No fingerprints or footprints of any kind. Because everyone's touching everything and walking where they want. Detective, did you, did you think that was a bit out of line? I agree, sir. I'll report it and see that it shows up on his next salary assessment. Oh, is he training Gumshoe now? I don't want to talk. The examine button will show up, right? Yeah, okay. A gun was fired during the president's speech. No. Yeah. Gun was fired during the president's speech. I remember when I had to give a speech in grade school. What an awful day. <clears throat> right in the middle of my speech, an earthquake broke out and shook the classroom, sir. That really is awful. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Edgeworth is terrified of earthquakes. I don't do with well with earthquakes my, myself. Uh, if you want to know why, go back to the first Phoenix Wright game and play Case 4. Turn about goodbyes. Huh? Are you listening to me? You're doing me, aren't you? Yes. This is... Yeah, I was surprised too. No matter how you look at it, it's definitely... The Steel Samurai. The Steel Samurai, warrior of, of near Tokyo. A hero from a popular program. 
popular with both children and adults. It is broad appeal. Why do they use the Steel Samurai Balloon at the welcoming event, sir? Perhaps he was chosen as the hero to represent our country. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. So, okay, so. I'm not good at giving tutorials. Um, basically, how this works, we finally get into an investigation. You, you scoop in. A close a closer look at a specific area if anything looks suspicious you will examine it something will pop up like this you know there's a hole in the flag cough cough the flag of the Republic of Zhang Fa its symbol appears to be a, f a Phoenix motif hmm this is what is it sir haven't you noticed? There is an unusual spot on this flag. Compare it to the flag on the opposite side of, of the stage. Hmm. There isn't a speck of dirt on it. The flag is spotless, sir. Yes, that is what the flag is supposed to look like. However, there is one spot on this flag that is out of place. What? Where is it, sir? Please, explain it so I can understand. What a helpless man. <laughs> I suppose you should point it out to him. Move the cursor to the unusual spot on the flag and press the X button to present it. And also, in stuff like this, you will have the green bar up at the top right corner in case, you know, for some reason you try to be funny and screw up, it won't work. Take that! There is an unusual hole in this flag. Ah! You're right! <clears throat> Judging from the burn marks around the hole, it appears to be a bullet hole. A bullet hole? And the bullet from the gun must have gone through the flag. Decorated the right side of the stage has the bullet hole. Okay, so we know that the bullet came from the right side. Um. A samurai balloon it looks so miserable. Indeed, what did it do to deserve such a fate? According to witnesses, a gunshot was heard when the balloon popped. Did a bullet from the gun hit the steel samurai balloon? an assassination attempt on the steel samurai to desecrate the steel samurai like this this is a serious crime <laughs> detective you must not look, let this rep reprehensible assassin assassin get away with this of course sir all right so the steel samurai balloon has been added I seem to have gathered a few pieces of pertinent information. Now to calmly use some logic and figure out if any of them are connected to each other. Ah, uh, what time are we at? Yeah, I'll take it to 40 minutes today. Today. Alright, so... Oops. This is where I'm going to use my first save state. I also use save states to keep track of how many episodes there are. So we have the, the ruptured balloon and the flag with the bullet hole. 
using the logic, you would think that, okay, so it went through the balloon, went through the flag, and then hit the president. Or, went towards the president. As a result of the gunshots, there is a bu there's a bullet hole in the f gunshots? Oh. One singular gunshot. If you're gonna do that, be consistent. <clears throat> There's a bullet holding a flag in a ruptured balloon. That must be in two. Sh uh, that must be in two shots were fired, sir. If we include the shot that hit the president, it's possible that three shots were fired in total. No, it's only possible that the flag and the balloon were punctured by the same bullet. If only we could be certain about the number of, of gunshots. Investigation complete. Now then, let's continue the investigation. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor! Hey, y'all! <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that's offensive. If y'all can find any anything new, could you please let me know? I've been wondering for a while now, but who exactly are, is that woman? I thought she was just a... Uh, a nosy onlooker. But it looks like she's investigating too. Hey, please, I'm begging you. In order to figure out how many shots were fired. We'll need to talk to a witness. It can't be helped. <laughs> Let's try talking to her. Ah! Mr. Prosecutor! Okay. I apparently cannot get a... Uh, a stereotypical Midwest Southern accent today. I'm bad of my time. I know it seems weird, but it's the only reference that I can actually reference without being whatever offensive. <clears throat> I'm bad. Number two. The name's Nicole Swift just between you and me. This case is going to be my exclusive scoop. Exclusive. Miss Swift, is it? Could you tell me what you witnessed during... So how's your investiga investigation coming along? <laughs> Edgeworth is not amused. Y'all got a suspect yet? Where'd you get that frilly do hook hickey around your neck? <laughs> okay, this is something I want to talk about because I, wa I do want to leave it here, but... Uh, let's say... Eh, I guess it's about a month ago. A month and a half ago by now. And they actually started... Um, they actually released a, uh, a Phoenix Wright anime, and it follows the cases very, very well. But the one thing that was very disappointing is that they didn't have the look. They did not have the Edgeworth pissed off, like, what the hell look. And that was really upsetting, but the rest of it is really good. It is shown on Crun Crunchyroll, so either you wait a week or you pay the membership and you get it the day it comes out 
Believe me, I'm not sponsored by Crunchyroll by any means. Uh, <laughs> you know, you you guys know the way I talk by now. I cannot do a commercial for my life, at least, at least not yet. I need a script for that. However, go and watch the anime, and we're going to end it off here. In the next episode of Miles Edward Ace Attorney Investigations 2, Prosecutor's Path, um, Turnabout Target, I believe, we are going to go and deal with this crazy woman that reminds me of another character, Cough Cough. So, I will see you guys next time.